They sent me 32 was my um my last option. So it don't matter what number they sent at the time. I was they don't I don't care if they gave me 99 or whatever. I was I'm just, I'm just happy that I get to put on the jersey. So but I feel like 32 chose me. Um a lot of great players have been wearing 32, so I'm next in line. You're pretty active on social media, on Twitter. I've been seeing you messaging with fans. Just how receptive have the Bird Gang been to you so far? Um, they've been great. Um, like I said, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm an outgoing person. Um, no matter what status I get in life, I'm always um, reach out to people. I don't want to feel like I'm bigger than, than anybody. So um, I love the Arizona um, fans, man. And just to touch back, I love my UCF fans too, because I've always been interacting with the fans. So. I'm gonna keep that. I feel like it's a big part of the game, man. I can make people lives like that, make people days. Like, oh, take hours to to me, so they probably having a bad day. So I feel like that's one of the biggest things I, I try to do. Yeah, I'm sure it's been pretty surreal for you since being drafted and becoming an Arizona Cardinal. Just what exactly, if you could take me back, did that moment mean to you? Man, that moment meant everything because I was once a five-year-old kid who told my mom that I'm going to the NFL and I'm going to change our lives. And just me getting that call, I was just, I, like I told Coach, I ain't really had too much more to say. I like, like I told him, I'm ready. Um, I kept repeating that to every coach I talked to, I'm ready. And the moment was just, it was just unreal because it was like a dream come true. Like, this is what I've been preaching and been wanting to do my whole life. So I just couldn't stop crying, really. At UCF, you did allow 25 yards or fewer in nine of your 12 games there. So what kind of playmaker are the Arizona Colonels getting in you? They're getting a, um, a lockdown defender. They're getting a fresh body. I, I haven't, uh, like I said, I missed last season. I haven't really played that much in uh, my um, career, but they're getting fresh. They're getting um, one of the best corners in the draft, if not the best corner draft because I opted out, so my draft stop took a it took a plummet, but it's okay. But Arizona Cardinals getting they getting locked down defender. That's all I can really stay on touch on that one. Yeah, you talked about having a fresh body. Just how did you have to prepare during this past year so that you were ready for this opportunity? Um, like um, when COVID hit, a lot of gyms and stuff were closed, so I was doing more like push ups, sit ups, um, running around the neighborhood because I couldn't, I didn't have access to anything. And so I, um, I went to Fort Lauderdale and things got, things calmed down with COVID a little bit and I was able to tap in my training more. After being drafted, I love when you said that you feel that you're the Tom Brady of corners or that you can be eventually. What and where does that confidence and belief in yourself come from? That confidence comes from me, um, me being slept on and just me knowing my ability and, and knowing what I can do. and. Like, like like people say, things happen for a reason. Um, I went to the sixth round, Brady went to the sixth round, and I know he believed in himself as much as I believe in myself. And now I have the resources to become the legend take out that I can become and, and people invested in me. So I'm gonna I'm put everything I can. And I believe in God 100%, so that's why I feel like that. That's why I talk the way I do and go about things the way I do. Yeah, and with big changes this offseason to this Cardinal secondary, of course, Patrick Peterson leaving the desert, you get a chance to compete and contribute as a rookie, possibly. So what are some of your goals heading into your first season here? First and foremost, I don't want to make it by myself. Uh, if I got to contribute on special teams first, then that's why I want to be the best special team players on the team. And then when I finally get my chance at a corner, if not starting day one, um, I'm going to a goal for myself is not to get caught on. That's one of my goals.